Hi, Nicola Askin here, back for the next in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. And today's question is one that I have been asked many times over the years, and in particular more recently since my last video. In that last video, I told you that you absolutely do need a data governance policy. So that's prompted um, a number of you to get in contact asking me, but why is it so hard to write a data governance policy? And I think the main reason for this is that there's very few people out there that have ever written a data governance policy before. And if it's the first time you've ever written a data governance policy, the chances are you just don't know where to start. I've seen many examples where people have spent a lot of time and effort researching data governance, what they think they ought to have in their framework, and dumping everything they found in their data governance policy. And this ends up giving you a policy that is really long. Some I've seen are like small novels. Um, and to be fair, I may have written some that length in the early days. And but when you come to share them with any stakeholders, particularly senior ones, they're going to be almost like put off by the, the sheer level of detail. And there is always a temptation to try and put too much into policies. And that scares people off. And you won't get your senior stakeholders signing it off. And you may even impact the success of your data governance initiative at that point. And the other thing that I frequently see is people thinking they can fast track this part of the data governance initiative by you know, copying somebody else's policy. So they look on Google or they ask a friend who's doing a similar job at another organization if they can have a copy of their policy. And I really would um, warn you against that because a policy should be written to reflect how your organization wants to do data governance. And picking up somebody else's and just adapting and amending a few bits means that you actually haven't got a policy that was written for your organization, and therefore it's extremely unlikely to be useful or relevant for your organization. And again, more likely to put more people's backs up and damage your data governance initiative. So what's the answer? Um, as I said, this is a question I've been asked so many times over the years, and I have been asked so many times to actually write data governance policies for people, that I decided that this was something I really needed to help people with. And so I'm really pleased to announce that my latest course is how to write a good data governance policy. And you can find out more by clicking the link below.